we have the base sketch for our drawing. Um, if we wanted to create a simple sleeve for the power adapter, we could select the enclosed area and extrude, say, half the height of the power adapter, which is 41 millimeters. And then we could choose tools, shell, and select the bottom. Oops, we can't do that because the reference illustration is in the way. So I'm going to tap the items icon and the icon for image to hide it. Now I'll choose shell again. Choose the bottom and the top planes. And I will drag, if you drag in, you're adding more material to the inside. But we don't want to do that because we made our dimensions ex precisely to match the exterior of the power adapter, which we want to fit snugly inside here. So we're going to move in the other direction, minus 3 millimeters, and tap Done. So we have a basic sleeve here, um, not very functional as far as uh, a cord wrap would go. Um, the effect I'm looking for here is like this to have something more stylized with holes where the cable can snap into so that it's not um, flapping all over the place loosely. So I'm going to undo that and that. Um, I am going to rehide that image though so that it's not in the way anymore. So to achieve that smooth flowing effect that you saw, uh, we're going to be using a tool uh, called Loft. And what Loft does is it will connect two enclosed sketches at different heights. So to start, I'll demonstrate. Um, I'll select this entire image, choose move and rotate, make sure the copy is on, and then I'll move this up. Let's say again 20 would be half the height of the power adapter. Now, just to demonstrate how Loft works, if I tap lo Loft and then tap one area and another, it automatically will connect those two areas. So I'm going to cancel that, though, because beyond this, I'm going to select this sketch tap copy and move it up another 20. And with copy still on, I'm going to move one down 10, so it's halfway in between. Now, this obviously won't matter because they're all the same size, so it'll still create a straight-sided body. But what I'm going to do is select, let's see, not that one, that one, that sketch, and choose Scale, and Scale Down, let's say 70%, deselect. Now if I try Loft, we'll go up, then In, then Out. So that creates an area that the cable can wrap around. Um, but the top 
is jutting out at an angle. Um, and would like that to be a little more a little more flat at the top. So I'm going to cancel that and deselect. Um, not that one, but the top sketch and copy. And I'm going to move that up five millimeters and back. And we'll go ahead and try loft again. That is more of the effect I was looking for. If we tap done, looks a little pinched on the inside there, but not too bad. I think that's good. So from here, we can choose tools, shell. We want to get rid of the bottom on the top. And remember, we want to negative, create an outer shell, and done. So, so the last thing to do is to cut these holes for the cable to rest in, um, and we'll do that next time.